Hey everybody, Boy. Brian Fouch here, back one last time with Mr. Ted Thomas. Now, here's the thing. So after watching and listening to these videos, Ted, I have some questions that have come in here uh, from some viewers, and so I want to go through these. Now, the first one is this. Is it possible, and I know we talked about this before in one of the previous videos, but some people have asked this, is it possible to get started with this only with a, you know, a thousand, two thousand, three thousand dollars? Yeah, you can start with small money. There's no doubt about it. But if you bought a tax lien, and let's say I paid, let's say you bought it in Iowa and it paid, or Illinois and it paid 24%. So you got $1,000 invested. The most you're going to get is 24%. So that means it's 250 bucks. Is that what kind of investor you are? Well, it's okay if you are, because it'd be a good test. And then you'd know that it worked. So you'd feel good. But you're not going to make big money unless you bought a whole bunch of those. So some people will buy 50 and 75 small tax liens. There's nothing wrong with that. Okay, nothing wrong with that. But I say to people, why don't you buy tax defaulted property? And when are you going to do that? You might put in 30 or 50 or 60,000, mm -hmm. but when you sell it, you're going to make 25 and $50,000. So that's the difference. The tax defaulted properties are going to sell at auction. Starting bid is going to be the back taxes. Gotcha. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yep. So definitely there's, uh, if you have, you know, a few thousand bucks or 500 bucks, you know, this is something you definitely can do. That's kind of the message here. Um, yeah. Now, having understood tax lien certificates, uh, it does seem like something that a lot of people can do or should do, but a lot of people are not doing. So, uh, you know, one is, of course, the knowledge, you know, of, you know, two is the access and knowing the process, you know, knowing the due diligence, all that kind of stuff. But are there any complications that, that they need to know about doing this? Uh, it's not complicated if you just learn one state. If you had to learn all 50 states at once, but you're not going to invest that way. You're going to learn one state. We're going to teach you one. And then if you want to know another one, we'll teach you that because you don't want to be traveling. I mean, you wouldn't try and buy a property in Massachusetts and at the same time, San Diego and at the same time in Yakima, Washington. You want to get to know an area because it's just like everything else. You have to understand markets a, a little bit different. Another challenge people have when they worry about complications is... We live in a day, an age of a lot of inflation, okay? Times are really changing. And older people are saying, wait a minute, I might have to go back to work. I'm not getting enough money. So I'm gonna show you a, a couple that was really concerned about that. They're both 70 plus years old, over 70, both of them. And they came to my class and learned how to do it. And they want to buy in Michigan. All right, now they're very conservative. They've heard every story in the world because you know there's a lot of charlatans out there. All right, I'm a tax lien indeed teacher. I'm a conservative investor, and so I teach them put little amounts of money, but let's make a lot. So let me show you what we showed them to do. We taught them they didn't want to buy in Wisconsin; they wanted to buy in Michigan. So they went to Michigan. They bought an average house. Matter of fact, it might be a little bit below average. All right, the auction had maybe 50 or 60 properties. They bought a house, a livable house, where people have been living in it. All right, they bought this house for $8,000. It was a five bedroom, one bath house. So you know how old it is. And you'll see a picture of it in just a minute. So they bought it for $8,000. All right, now I need a little cleanup. Now I teach people, try not to fix them up, try and just clean them up and let the other guy fix it up, okay? So they cleaned it all up. So they had $8,000 invested. So they took 4,000 to fix it up. Total investments, $12,000, all right? They bought it at Thanksgiving, just before Thanksgiving. By Christmas, they sold it, and they used what we call an installment sale. In other words, they were the banker. They said, oh, well, you can make the payments to us. We showed them how to do that. Folks, they spent $12,000 to buy it. They made an additional $38,000 in that short period from Thanksgiving to before it was the new year. They're older people, gray hair like Ted. They now do deals on a regular basis. How many of those do you need to do a year to have plenty of extra income? So it was a little complicated, the first one. Yes, they had to learn some steps. Did they get an attorney to do the papers? Yes, they did that. The, the note that they have from the client, the people that are paying them, the banker calls, can we buy that note from you? You'll hear them say that right on this video. Watch this. My name is Robert Hagan but everybody calls me Sonny. And this is my wife, Marsha. In September of 2019, uh, we took the Ted Thomas classes. In November, we won the Fraser Street House. 
December, we accepted an offer already. January, we closed on it. It's it's amazing about the signs. You know, we we didn't even think anything about this sign stuff, and it was brought to our attention by uh, Ted that you know this is this is a surefire way to get people's attention, and he's absolutely right. The lawyer cost us six hundred dollars to do the closing and set up the land contract that we sold it on. So altogether, uh, $11,557, uh, almost $12,000. Uh, the purchase price turned out to be oops, $35,000 with a profit of 23443 Once we plugged all this in, it came up with that his payments would be $411. Total interest then, the interest made on all the money that was in here, just the interest, it amounts to $15,995.51. So that's just the interest, that's just profit. Basically, we hold the note on the on the property, we're the bank. It was $23,443 profit on the sale. And $15,995 profit on the note. So all of our investment, which of course we've already gotten back, and the profit on the property and the profit on the note. So the total for just the profit part, not our investment, but the total profit part is $39,438. And I think for that $12,000, that's a pretty good deal. So there you have it. So folks, there are some complications. I wouldn't have been teaching it all these years if it was just a piece of cake. It's not, you're gonna have to learn a little, but to make sure that you learn a little, I'm gonna give you a demonstration for six hours of how much we can teach you. I started 11 in the morning, I go to five in the afternoon, it's 47 bucks, you can go below me anytime you want. It's every two weeks, you wanna come back and watch it again, or you never didn't get your money to work, heck, I'll give you money back. You're gonna really learn this and like it. People like this, I don't care how old you are, or how young you are, quite frankly, young people aren't interested in this, but they want, if they're under 45, they want a BMW and go on vacation. They're over 45, they love Ted Thomas. Love that, that's awesome. So a couple of things. Uh, so last couple of questions here. So obviously right now with what's going on around the world, the economy, all this kind of stuff, people are saying, okay, how do I make some, some larger chunks of supplemental income, things like that? Because a lot of clients, maybe they've been working hard, but now they're saying, okay, to, to really start to overcome this hurdle of uh, the economy and the markets and inflation, they want to be an investor. And so they're not going to want to do small deals. They're, they're not going to want to do $500. They want to do maybe something a little larger. So and they want to do it online because maybe they have a job or a business. So is it really possible to do something like this to make, you know, twenty five to fifty thousand dollars and do it online without having to fly or travel to the, the auction houses, all that kind of stuff? OK, well, I had a guy uh, that started with me from uh, from Honduras. He wanted to do it. So he went to a lot of auctions. He didn't get the deal he wanted. So he said, look, just settle down where you are. It was very close to Tampa, Florida. So he went to a county just north of Tampa. All right. He looked at the auction list, went out and looked at a few properties. And what happens is people are a little on the lazy side. So we teach you how to do everything online. But we also teach you that Ted Thomas rule number one is walk on the property. If you can't walk on the property, hire a broker or someone qualified to walk on the property. Mm. So they know the property. So he said, I'm going to do what Ted told me to do. I'm going to go out and look. So he went out and looked at the property. First, he looked online. And he could see there was a property there, but the trees were growing over the top of it. The trees, trees on it. Because in Florida, everything just grows. You know, they've got plenty of sun, plenty of water. So it didn't look like anything was there. Well, he got there and he said, wait a minute, what if I cut all these trees down? So anyway, he went back, he went to the auction. And the, the auction, they'll always tell you what the tax assessed value is. So the tax assessed value was $91,000. I said, wow, 91,000, not a bad property but nobody can see it because the trees are on. But he looked at it. So he started the bidding. The bidding started at 6,000, 7,000. When he got to $9,000, he stopped bidding and he won. So he went out there and he cut the trees down, cleaned it up, and here comes the broker. He sold it for 150,000. Hmm. That's making a lot of money, folks. Now, yeah. was that just one lucky deal? No, he did what we told him to do. Always walk on the property. Always make sure it's hands-on for you. If you can't do it, have someone do it. 
Folks, it's a money business. We're never going to teach you to make less than 25 grand. If, we, if it doesn't pencil out, that it make 25 grand after everything, we're not going to teach you. We're not amateurs. We're professionals. We've been doing it for 30 years. Now, Ted, you see people making this like uh, maybe they're in their 60s and 70s. You see them doing this kind of almost full time, like for the main so, income source? Like, yeah. They want you, to make you, never have, you never have to do it. This is a side hustle, no matter how you cut it. The okay. reason it's a side hustle is you can always plan the auction. See, there's 5,000 auctions. So so I could hold you up the newspapers that are showing. I, this this is a newspaper from Broward County, and this is a tax lien list. It's got 30,000 certificates of it. I showed you Los Angeles a bunch of times. Average auction list is going to have 150 properties on it. So just pick mm -hmm. and choose the ones you want to go to. Okay. I mean, like I've been to Los Angeles and uh, maybe three or four times to the auction. I don't need to go again. That's too big. I want to go to the small auction. Like this guy went north of Tampa, a small town, found a property nobody wanted to bid on because it was, had all these trees on top. Hell, he made it, He made two years' pay. Nice deal. Gotcha. Okay. Okay, that makes sense because I know there's a lot of individuals that uh, I've talked to or they're maybe watching this want to, hey, how do I create that, you know, fifty, hundred, hundred fifty thousand dollars $150,000 income source, you know, through this concept. So that makes sense. Now, We've seen quite a few deals. We've seen some videos. So have we seen the best one you've ever seen though before? <laughs> well, I'll show you the best one. You'll love this one here. We'll end it with that. Okay. Folks, this guy started with me 30 years ago, uh, probably 25 years ago, but he started and he did a lot of work in Georgia. And he liked Georgia because they had a redeemable deed. So he either got made 20% or he got the property. So in this case, he, got, he learned he could get properties. So I asked him to come and teach people that. So he went to one of my events and I was teaching in Tulsa, Oklahoma, a big, big room of 500 people. And uh, then he went out and bought a property. I'll let him tell you the rest of the story. I'd have to say that the best uh, dollar for dollar deal I've ever done on a piece of land it happened in Oklahoma. I went out to an outlying county and I bought a tax lien. The tax lien was on a 25 acre piece of land. The tax lien was only $67.12. Uh, you'd think that nobody would ever abandon a piece of land for that small of a tax bill, but things like that do happen. And guess what? Those people never did pay that tax. They never redeemed that tax lien, and I ended up getting the tax deed to that property. I eventually sold that piece of land for $22,500. It's not uncommon to make ten dollars or $20,000 off of a deal. Folks, there you have it. He spent $67 for that property and when he sold it, he sold it for thousands. Folks, you can't buy a dinner at Denny's for you and your kids for $67. <laughs> so that's how cheap you can get in the business. I've been telling you about all four videos. You need to do some big deals. That's how small a deal you can do. He put 67 bucks in, came out with $25,000. Folks, every two weeks I do a class, all you have to do is go below me, spend six hours in the class. If you like it, would like to know more about you. If you're learning a lot, for me now, just imagine what would happen in six hours. Absolutely, absolutely, guys. Yeah, so if you're looking for something you can do from home, something that is, obviously, uh, it, this has been around for a long time. It's not, it's not something new, but Ted has really opened the door up to the average person through his resources, through his teaching, through what he's done for the last three decades. So if you have any interest at all, I definitely recommend grab that link, attend that, uh, that event. Um, you're going to learn a lot, and this is a very cool strategy backed by real estate, backed by properties, and it's been going on, you know, every year for a couple hundred years. So this is this is something that is is tangible. You're getting into something that has been around for a long time and it's tried and true and proven. So with that, guys, uh, once again, Ted, thank you so much for that for these uh, these information, these questions. It's been amazing. So um, yeah, guys, grab that link and attend that event. You won't you won't be just disappointed.